Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Buckle up, grab a snack. This is gonna be some hectic days in my life, but fun stuff. It's gonna be real fun. So let me try to explain this in the best way that I can and not make it confusing. So today is Wednesday. I am heading out to the train station right now. I always live there. And I'm going with my friend Nicole from high school. We're going to see a show courtesy of Yes Broadway. Love them so much. We're going to see Little Girl Blue. I think it's gonna be so good. It's about Nina Simone. If you guys know her, she's an artist. You know the song, and I'm feeling good. That song, you know, that was bad. But that's the show that it's about like her life, you know? So I'm very excited to go see that. It's an off-Broadway musical. So leaving in a few to go catch that train, and then I'm gonna train back with my friend tonight. And then tomorrow I'm going back into the city. So last minute, my friend Fran texted me and she invited me to a show tomorrow night, Thursday night, to one of her friend's shows. <laughs> and I was like, of course, like I'll never say no to a show. And like, weather's getting warmer. I'm always down for a good show and some girl time. I'm so excited to spend some like days in a row with girlfriends. I feel like it always like rejuvenates you. So I said yes to her and then I was like, well, I'm gonna be in the city the day before too. Like I wanna go back and forth, back and forth. Like that's kind of crazy. So what I decided on is to get a hotel Thursday night because we're going to that show Fran and I and then we're also going out to like a dinner and drinks I'm pretty sure with some people from the show and I was like I really don't want to have to take the train like at midnight or after midnight who knows how long we would be out and it's on like 72nd or 77th street which is so far from Penn Station and I'm like it's gonna be late at night like I just don't want to travel home alone at that time of night so I was like let's get a hotel <laughs> and she was like I'm down and so I got us a hotel so I'm gonna go to the city come home tonight and then tomorrow go back into the city and stay overnight into Friday I did mess up the hotel which was like I don't know why I like just didn't look twice at it um when I went to book the hotel I went to like the nearest Thursday and I just booked it and I ended up realizing that it was in May the first week of May and I was like this is supposed to be for this Thursday <laughs> and I sent the screenshot to her friend and everything and she was like okay yay and I was like um both of us are not gonna notice that I booked it for May the calendar just like automatically went there so I just booked it a very dumb mistake of me but I got it changed I was able to change it immediately I was like oh my god I booked it far out and now it's gonna be like so much more money because it's like literally tomorrow but it wasn't so that was good you guys know me I'm always down for a last minute adventure I also love planning and having ideas but i don't know 50 50 i feel like also part of me loves like a last minute like yeah i'm down let's go let's stay in a hotel let's have fun we'll make memories you know and i'm excited because friday's weather is gonna be so gorgeous so i'm planning on bringing like comfy outfits sneakers and i'm gonna walk from the hotel to penn station to come home i'm also gonna do that tomorrow too it's like a 50 minute walk but i'm like if i like dress accordingly and bring my sneakers that'll be so nice to just walk around New York City like why not I'll have my luggage but I'm gonna bring like a roller luggage so it'll be fine as long as I'm prepped I'm excited about it it's gonna be a little staycation um beginning with right now so let me show you guys my outfit also I had a little morning I took a few clips for you guys I went cycling had a nice shower and had myself a kind salad and then I edited a whole video and got it sent in I was very proud of myself I got this dress gifted to me by guess and I haven't worn it because it's been so cold like it wasn't like you know dress long sleeve dress weather but today is like 60 degrees so i figured it'd be the perfect day to pull this out i've got on my Spanx underneath and they go down to here so if i do get a little warm which i don't think i will because it's like perfect weather i won't have to worry about my uh chub rub and then i've got my white high top converse and i'm definitely gonna bring a little jacket i'm not sure what yet but i get cold really easily and i'd rather have it with me so that's my little fit I'm excited. Okay, but the real question is what jacket do I wear with this that's like appropriate for this weather? I feel like it has to be a long jacket, not a cropped one. My good old leather jacket. She never fails, honestly. This can go over sweatpants, dresses. I feel like it just goes with everything. Love her. And I wanted to wear my Givenchy, so it pulls the black in together. This could be a good uh, maternity dress, I feel like. Cute, right? I'm not pregnant, don't get any ideas. It's just food. <laughs> Okay, we're actually out of here now. I'm happy with this fit. I am switching you guys the phone footage because I can't bring you guys into the venue, but don't worry. I just got the new iPhone, so it should be crispy. Luckily, Zane made burgers earlier, and I just remembered that I should probably eat because once we get to the city, we have to walk right to the venue. I just literally put it on a bun with mayo. I did not do ketchup because I'm scared of spilling it on myself, so mayo it was. And I'm gonna eat this on the way to the train station. 
showing me old pictures of us. Why do I look like an old woman? <laughs> oh my god, Nicole showed me cinematic mode. And this is like zooming, oh, it's like feeling. focusing. <laughs> we can see everything now. It's like focusing really cool. Look at it. Oh, so bad. There's so many. Wait, wait, are we okay? <laughs> what am I? <laughs> the Arab pastel with the tank top underneath. Mm -hmm. And the matching Old Navy flip flops. Best friend forever. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, we thought we thought we were so cool too. Like we thought we were like at our peak. This is so embarrassing. <laughs> it's really bad. Alright, we're gonna stop. <laughs> Told me I was special, but not enough to make you stay. I guess you couldn't settle with somebody like me. My self-esteem has reached a new all-time low. At least you accomplished something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Before you, I was. Oh my God. Look like I just ran. <laughs> well, as per Alyssa fashion, we had to run to make the train. I look really washed out in this camera right now. What's going on? Still not doing anything for me, but whatever. <laughs> um, the show was so good. It wasn't, it was like literally four people on stage the whole time. Well, six, including the two cops that were standing on the side. They just stood there the whole time. Did you think about that? I was thinking. I'm like, they got paid to just stand there and do nothing. Sign me up. As they should, as they should. Um, they were like, they were actors, but they were like, pretending to watch like she was playing on a concert the whole time essentially so there was like cops actors on the side but i'm like they didn't barely even said anything actually they didn't say anything at all <laughs> amazing loved them they were great um oh my god but the show was so good basically it was like a one woman show she like acted out meeting her father her mother her husband like she was really really good so definitely recommend you guys go see it it's a great off-broadway show and we walked all the way back and then we were like oh my god there's a 1003 and there's a 1037 we're making the 1003 so we stopped at mcdonald's real quick let me flip you around we stopped at mcdonald's i got my order at like 10 p.m and we ran to penn station and we freaking made it and thank god we have mcdonald's because that was a workout we're both out of breath <laughs> so happy right now it is 1203 i am home Zane has his cousin and brother over. His cousin just got back from Pakistan, so they're hanging out. I am gonna get cozy in bed, you guys know me. This dress did me good today. I feel like I felt good in it, I felt comfortable. The weather was so perfect for this dress. Like, it was a perfect long sleeve dress day. <laughs> so, let's get into some PJs. So comfy. There's nothing, nothing like a big t-shirt. You can't tell me otherwise. Good morning, everyone. Slight change of plans. So uh, my friend Fran that I was supposed to go to the city with, you guys heard the whole explanation. She actually ended up getting like a weird stomach bug and she's like throwing up and stuff. So it's just impossible for her to come into the city and go and do everything. And I can't cancel the hotel. And if I know show, they're going to charge me again. So I was like, all right, let's recruit Aaliyah, Zane's little sister. We'll have a little girl's trip because she's on spring break for school. And she was like, yeah, I'm down. So she's coming with me. We're still going to go to... Um, the show tonight, it's Fran's friend Nick, and I've met him a bunch of times, I adore him, so I was like, of course, I'll still go to the show and support him, so that way the tickets still get to be used, and you know, we'll go support the show. I'm kind of rushing though, we need to make the train, but I just packed everything up. I'm all dressed for my walk, as I said, so same plans, just different person. <laughs> But let's go. Bye, babies, love yous. Okay, bye. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I always feel that way. Zane took my luggage to the car already, by the way. <laughs> Definitely have luggage. Lego! It's kind of cold. Really? A little bit. It's, it's chilly. When we walk in the city, yeah. we'll start to sweat. Yeah. Definitely did not have time to eat today, so me and Ali are having protein bars, and then we're gonna go to a nice lunch when we get there. Got one luggage up there, and mine's too heavy, so I was a little nervous. So I left it here. <laughs> We've made it to New York City. Poor Leah is using Zane's luggage. <laughs> it doesn't go up, so she has to use the 57 van. minute walk. 57 minute walk. <laughs> I got my watch set up on a walk, and we're ready to go. If we get tired, we'll call an Uber, but we love a good New York City walk. There's a small all chill in the air but it's not bad i'll take it well we're gonna start sweating in a second anyway <laughs> 
guys, 333. We freaking arrived at 333. We're finally here. Oh, that was a long walk. Okay, time to check in. 829. That would be this way. And this, oh my God, it's cute. It's so blue. Oh. Oh. Oh, surprise, I bought a sweet. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> See, we're off to a good start because the guy told me I look like Lucy Hill. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's it's perfect for what we need. I feel like we're gonna need to get room service later because that picture just looks phenomenal. And we got a ten dollar food voucher and water, Aaliyah. Yes. Go for it. Yeah. <laughs> Somehow we must mustered up. Is that the say? Mustered up. Yeah, freshened up. We mustered up the courage. I'm trying to say. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like no. mustered up. She's like, no. I know. <laughs> After that walk, basically we were laying on the bed and we were like, we do not want to get up right now. But I was like, Aaliyah, we're getting up and we're changing. And I feel a little better. Do you feel a little better? Yes. Yeah. We were in like athletic wear. So I'm wearing Spanx uh, flare pants. They're called the perfect pant and they are perfect for everything. I love them because they're so comfortable. And then I'm wearing my new Amazon corset. It comes in a bunch of colors um, and it holds, holds the girls up. And then my Abercrombie jacket and this purse is from Princess Polly. What are you wearing, Aaliyah? I'm wearing... Forever 21. Nice. Flare, Converse, platformed. Nice. Off the shoulder. Cute. Company, and then Cardian. Adorable. And then you. Oh, yeah, I did give you that purse. Aw, cute. A little piece of me. Okay, we're going to a really, I mean, it looks really good. A really good Mexican restaurant. And we're, I'm like delusional because I'm so hungry right now. All we had was a protein bar on, on the plane. I on the train. One. What? I didn't finish one. You didn't even finish it? No. Oh my God, we need to, I'm responsible for Leah. We need to go feed this girl. Oh, and I'm also wearing Air Forces to kind of dress down the outfit because it's a little bit dressy, but that's that. Let's go eat. We've made it to Kovacha. Very cute in here. The vines on the wall, all the colors. They have an outdoor area. It's like literally five minutes from our hotel, so I'm ready to chow. Okay, first round we got appetizer, we got corn, and we got guacamole with like pickled vegetables with the chips. Looks delicious. Okay, I'm gonna pronounce this wrong, guys, so please forgive me, but we got the burrilla quesadillas. I'm very excited. I see these all over TikTok. I know they're supposed to be tacos, I think, but I don't know. It's chicken, and we dip it in the burrilla sauce. Burrilla, burrilla. I'm probably pronouncing this wrong. Sorry guys. Um, and then we got like a pork dish and it came with like tortillas and you like dip it in there and you like use that as your like utensil. And it looks very nice and fancy. I'm very excited. Zane would love this sesame. So good. Rest in peace. So good. <laughs> so good. I have been wanting to try these. And they dip them in the sauce and they make them look so good on TikTok. I wanted to make it too, but the sauce seems like so in depth. You have to like roast like all these peppers and stuff. Yeah. Okay, we are back at the hotel now and you guys I'm just like failing I think I have a million things on my mind So I'm like doing everything without paying attention to details I told you guys I originally messed up booking the totally wrong dates for this hotel in the first place And then when I booked it, I just saw that it was on 77th and I was like, oh the venue like the show that we're going to is on 76th perfect like one lock over except I didn't think about the cross street at all so we're totally on like the wrong side of Central Park. Very, very, very silly of me. I don't, I don't know how I messed that one up. So now we're like a 30 minute walk from the venue. So we're gonna have to Uber there. But in my mind, I was like, oh, we're like a minute walk away. But I always map stuff to see like the walks. And I just like didn't, I don't, I don't know. Like I've been making some weird mistakes. So I'm not gonna make any big decisions within the next week because obviously my brain is not working. Um, so anyways, we're gonna take a chill pill for a few minutes and then we're gonna uber over to the venue I've already changed by the way too because I was just like this is going wrong and I need to be more comfortable After the show we're gonna come back and I'm planning to sit my ass in this bed Read my book and maybe get some dessert and enjoy this hotel and just sit and do nothing. That sounds good Aaliyah says thumbs up so little fails, but we're making it through <laughs> very disappointed in myself I'm usually like not this silly when it comes to things. So that's okay. Everything happens for a reason, right? Okay, I actually just realized where I went wrong. So I did look up where the hotel was compared, but I put in 150 West 79th and it's 150 East 79th, which makes the difference of it being all the way down here on the Upper East Side. <laughs> and we're like near the Upper West Side. So just that one little letter of W and E really messed me up. I was rushing and I was being very careless, so 
very silly mistake. I was thinking about walking to the show still, but A, it got so cold outside, B, we're in a food coma, and C, we walked so much today, so we're just like exhausted, so I'm like, it's not happening, and we're gonna walk tomorrow morning, so. I'm mad at myself. I'm going back to the sweater. Comfy. It's too cold. Yeah, it is really cold. I know, I didn't like realize it was gonna get so cold. I wasn't worth that much You told me I was special But not enough to make you stay I guess you couldn't settle With somebody like me My self-esteem is reaching But I'm all too low Okay! Okay! Okay, the show was so good. It is literally only running until the 24th. So by the time you guys see this, it'll already be done. So you can't go see it, unfortunately. But it was so amazing. Um, I love Nick. He's just like the sweetest ever. And he was very accommodating. And afterwards, we went to this really cute place. And we had like little appetizer stuff. And then we took an Uber home. And then we went and decided to get a food truck. Because I was like, oh, quick. But he made that ish fresh. He was hysterical we walked up to the truck and he was dancing and the entire time that he was making our food it was like a good like what 10 minutes yeah yeah it was like a good 10 minutes maybe even more he was thrusting thrusting while cooking and just chatting it was iconic honestly and the back of the truck said no pork on my fork and i thought it was great and he was hysterical so anyways food haul here's what we got from the food truck we got two waters because we did not go, do good on drinking water today. We need to stay hydrated. And then we've got lots of stuff. We were like, oh, let's just have a light snack. And then here we are. Um, we got some fries. Oh, we put the ketchup on top of yes, the fries. Yes, did. Interesting choice. Okay, we got some ketchup fries. <laughs> two hot dogs. They're tiny. So good thing we got two. This one's plain for Leah. Oh, thank you. Welcome. And this is my, I'm so excited for this. This is my favorite part chicken salad with the extra white sauce with the chicken strips oh wow <laughs> we're gonna share this salad is that a good hot dog it's it a fresh hot dog. fresh everything was fresh <laughs> i said extra white sauce and he just kept pouring it <laughs> i said is that he said is that good i said he yes was, he, he was, kept going he was going back with the hand <laughs> he kept going mm. that's good though mm. do you want me in here or no i mean i'm a little a little, a little. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna eat our food and Ali's gonna do some homework. I'm gonna maybe do some stuff on my phone or maybe read my book because I haven't read in a really long time and I brought it with me. So that would be nice. Um, and that's it. Then we're gonna continue the day tomorrow. So I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. We had a nice relaxing morning in bed and now we're actually about to head to Marshall's. I just threw on like literally the same outfit that I wore here yesterday. Um, we are walking back to Penn and Aaliyah is borrowing Zane's suitcase and it's literally so broken. Um, we woke up and both of our arms were sore. The like thing doesn't extend so we were pulling it with like a workout band and it just like had a mind of its own. It was not comfortable. Um, we're going to Marshall's. It's like right across the street and I'm gonna get Zane a new suitcase. <laughs> And we're gonna switch it off and we're gonna throw that one out because the walk back to Ped, it's gonna be warmer out today. We're gonna be hot and I wanna have a nice walk. So we need a new suitcase for that. And then we're gonna go get our free breakfast and then we're gonna walk back. So let's get the day started. Good morning, New York. You are stunning today. Perfection. Our hotel is right there. Marshall's is right here across the street. Please have suitcases. <laughs> Luggage, hallelujah. Let's go. It's a big marshal. Interesting. Like three floors. Uh oh. It's looking like a low selection over here. Oh, that's it? What is this? Like green? Alright, she's the chosen one. It's kind of ugly, but <laughs> it's better than what we had going on. <laughs> she's kind of cute in the sunshine. I don't mind her. Look at that little puppy. There's so many cute dogs in the city. <laughs> got our little breakfast. We got turkey croissants warmed up they look freaking good and we got vanilla bean macarons cutie i love how we got the same exact thing <laughs> it's good you like it Aliyah's never had a macaroon oh i'm so excited for this right now okay we're gonna pack up and do our 55 minute walk <laughs> almost forgot to take a polaroid guys so we took one with our croissants all right we're gonna arrive to Penn five minutes before our train leaves and oh, see if we shit. can do it okay no we're gonna, we're gonna we, got we got this we got this now yeah now you're not struggling anymore 
12.04, it leaves at 12.05. We just got on. Got our luggage up there. Got our luggage down here. We made it. <laughs> that was a long walk, but we did it. We did it in 51 minutes. It said 56. Almost two and a half miles. It's a good day for some froyo. Let's do it. I got cake, batter, ice Thank cream. You. A bunch of toppings. It's ain't got coconut. Very brave of you. Yay! Tis the season. Have a good day. <laughs> Some lady eating for you just said bye. <laughs> I'm home. I just got myself together really quick. I'm heading over to my cousin Natalie. She's helping me with my project for next month. So I can't show you guys what we're doing just yet. Um, but I'm literally just wearing this Boohoo t-shirt. It's got like a little graphic on the back. And actually my pants are from Boohoo as well. Boohoo fit. Um, just like these wide leg pants with my Converse. I'm bringing a sweater because after I go to Nats, I'm going to go to Zane. He's playing in a tennis tournament. So I'm going to go watch that at the tennis club with him and it's going to get chilly there. I just know it. So I'm going to bring a little hoodie. I've got my laptop bag with all my work stuff. And yeah, that is the plan. So I'm loving that I can just wear a t-shirt because it is gorgeous out today. Okay, let's go. You guys are all chowing down. So yummies. Love yous. Okay, my time at Nats was great, but I don't know what's wrong with me. I must be like bringing bad luck recently because things are just like not going right, but um, every time I go and try to watch Zane play a tennis tournament, his opponent always pulls out for some sort of reason. And so as I was sitting at Nats working, Zane texted me that his tournament was canceled. So we're not gonna go watch him play tennis tonight. But it's like every time I try to go watch him play, it's very frustrating because I just want to go watch him play tennis. And every time, there was one time where we were in the car driving there, almost there, and his opponent pulled out. I'm like, really? Anyway, so change of plans. Now we're having a Friday night at home. <laughs> I'm very hungry. I had that croissant this morning and the macaroon and the yogurt. Yep, you guys saw it all. That's what I ate. So, time to make some dinner. I've got some meal prepped beef, some tortillas, some cilantro, some arugula, some avocado, some red onion, some peppers going in the air fryer, and some mac and cheese. I'm gonna make a little burrito and some mac and cheese and peppers on the side because that just sounds good. Okay, here's what I ended up putting in my burrito if you want to call it that i don't know i just put a bunch of stuff in here but i'm excited about it we got arugula cheese red onion avocado refried beans cilantro i heated up the beef with some scallions and i think that's everything and then i'm gonna dip it in sour cream but i'm about to wrap it up and then heat it up on a skillet can i wrap it is the question i usually can finesse this so let's see i put a lot in here because i'm hungry you just have to not be afraid to like touch the food you know and wrap it nice and tight so cute look at her okay i'm gonna crisp it on the pan <laughs> also this is my first time trying this from Lidl, and i'm very excited about it it's like a sun-dried tomato pasta with cheese like i call it a mac and cheese but it's just like a boxed pasta but i'll let you guys know what i think of it i'm very hyped <laughs> these um i'm gonna have a few now but mainly i like to prep these to be cold and have like a veggie sandwich on sourdough i've just loved having them meal prepped so meal prepped air fried peppers for the win we love these. I mean, this looks pretty good though, does it not? It's not done yet. I'm just waiting for it to absorb the rest of this water, but I also have another truffle one too, so I'm really excited to try that one. I feel like this is gonna be yummy. I mean, we've got all different types of flavors here, but I'm not mad at it. This is my idea of a, I don't wanna cook, let me just throw something together meal. You already know I got my sour cream on the side to dip my burrito. Let's try this pasta, yum. Wow, that's really good. It's not mac and cheese, but it tastes like somebody put a lot of love into a nice fresh pasta. I'm telling you. And it came from a box. Wow. Next, we have our burrito with a nice amount of sour cream. I love sour cream. Mmm. Wow. Very solid meal for just throwing it together. I'm going to give myself a break now, and I'm going to watch a YouTube video and eat my yummy dinner. Very, very excited. By the way, I was hungry before Zane was. I couldn't wait anymore, so that's why I'm eating without him and he's wrapping up some work stuff. So that's what's going on there. Yeah, bedtime. You're so snuggly and warm. I love you, Benj. It is bedtime, guys. I'm about to take just a few really quick clips for a brand deal, but I think I've discovered something about myself. So I've been having like some restless sleep. I think I just have a lot on my mind, a lot to do and I just like 
can't sleep because I keep thinking about everything and it kind of like wakes me up throughout the night and I'm like restless. The last few nights, uh, except for last night when I was in the city, I forgot to bring one, but I put on a face mask. I know this is not riveting information. And I just lay there on my back and sometimes I'll put on some form of entertainment, you know, I don't have to sit in silence. But I think the smell of a face mask and like the cooling effect literally calms me. I've been testing it out and I've been having so much better sleep. I know it sounds silly, but like it's been helping me so much. And this one specifically that I'm filming right now is called Beauty Sleep. And like, I swear I slept better. <laughs> it's wild. Bailey! Now that the weather is getting warmer, I like using them more. I don't love putting cold like face products on my face when I'm cold. So I'm just like really excited that I discovered that. But anyways, I'm gonna get a few clips for that. Then I'm going to bed. I just worked on my laptop for a really long time and things are coming together, you guys. I am so excited. I'm having so much fun. I cannot wait to share. Tomorrow is Saturday. Uh, the big things on the agenda is I'm going to Zumba in the morning and then at night we have a dinner at Zane's dad's. It is Zane's little sister's birthday. She is turning one years old. Um, I don't really vlog that part of Zane's life so you guys are probably like, what? Um, I don't really vlog. His parents are divorced. I don't really vlog on his dad's side because I don't want to make people feel uncomfortable on camera and stuff. It's just, you know, you have to respect people's wishes. Not that they ever told me they don't want to be on camera, but it's just part of my life that I just don't film. But it's her birthday, so maybe tomorrow I'll get a few clips for you guys. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and go get some beauty sleep and I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. It's time for Zumba. My little cropped black tee. These leggings are from Yvette and black sneakers. It's not the greatest combo, but I have to leave, so <laughs> that's what I'm wearing today. Babies are chowing. I just gave them fresh food. They're very excited. Okay, bye, guys. Birds are chirping. Sun is out. Can't complain. What does one do when they feel like they need a little pick-me-up? Self-tan, slap it on, lather it on. It fixes all of your problems. <laughs> I was feeling so like physically blah and I was like a tan always makes me feel better. I was just feeling like flat. So I gave my hair a fresh wash. I'm gonna Dyson air wrap it, got on some fresh tanner and um, the apartment is a mess. It's always my fault. It's my luggages, my stuff from my purses everywhere when I'm running out the door trying to, whoa. Oh yeah? <laughs> I'm always running out the door trying to switch my purses, so that became a mess. This is just random stuff everywhere. Um, we also ran out of butt wipes, and you guys know me. I immediately went onto Amazon, and I just overnighted some butt wipes. <laughs> that sounds dramatic. I have Amazon Prime, but... Low-key, I was getting the off-brand ones from, like, Walmart and Target, because I'm like, it doesn't matter. But, I don't know. These Cottonelle. I'm really loving them. I got all of these for like 14 bucks. So highly recommend <laughs> they don't rip They're nice and thick. They smell good. I love them. We're moving on up in the world So we're gonna do a little tidying up tomorrow is Sunday So we are gonna do Sunday cleaning so I'm not gonna do any like physical cleaning But I do want to like um, just pick up my stuff that's everywhere Like those are all our travel bags that I took out of my suitcase so I could use it And there's just like little things here and there. How cute are Bella and Bailey? You guys are napping? That's so sweet Bailey is knocked. Ready? Oh, good morning. You're so comfy. That's so nice. Oh, stretches. <laughs> so yeah, just a little tidying. Tomorrow I'll do like the vacuuming and stuff like that. But I just am not a fan of the clutter. It makes my head messy. So let's do that while we let our tan soak in. Can I help you? What do you need from me? What do you need? What? The sink? Thank you. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. All right. That's too close and personal. Nobody wants you that close to their face. Mommy cannot touch water. Water is lava when you have tanner on.
check it out guys we are decluttered got the candle lit nat literally got me this for christmas and i'm just now lighting it because <laughs> i was using it for decor but now i'm actually out of candles so we have to light her um and it smells really nice so that is done then we've got the bathroom looking spiffy mudroom's a little rough we're waiting on cardboard day but that's this week so thankfully that's gonna go away the sun is peeking through look at her i made a few changes in the living room oh my god all three of you scary <laughs> I just walked in here and they're staring at me. I need a picture. Guys, for your Instagram, say cheese. Cheese. With your show on and everything. I love that for you. That is so sweet. I need to put my wire away. That's very sloppy of me. But I did a little bit of changing here. That is not staying. That is just like I threw stuff there temporarily. I do think I'm going to use this vase though and get like some tall, you know, greenery or white something, whatever. I say that because I love these little bead things and I don't know what to call them, but some sort of plant to stick out of there. Um, but yeah, but I don't know about that yet. But anyways, over here, I'm liking. I feel like she got a little makeover. Zane would be really proud if you know you know. I keep like a million old glasses sitting here for when we watch TV, but I end up using my most recent ones because these are just so outdated. They're like not as clear. So he's gonna be really proud of me. I just got a new eye exam a few weeks ago. <laughs> I just got one a few weeks ago and I have yet to order glasses, but that is happening tonight. I'm gonna have Zane help me order new glasses. I kept one pair because I tried them all on and this was like the clearest. So if I'm feeling really lazy and I need a pair of glasses <laughs> and I can't find my other ones, we're gonna keep those as backup for now. But these are going bye bye because I'm gonna order new ones and this is gonna be my motivation. Ciao. Anyways, I stole from my um, ladder over here, but I actually think I'm going to get rid of this ladder, this blanket ladder situation, because I think I'm just outgrowing her, um, and we'll do something else with that space. I feel like it would look really cute if I took the cat chair. You know what? I got to see that real quick. Okay, we're going to do that in a second. Anyways, I took this little, like, linen, and I layered it on top. Bella's enjoying. I need to maybe spruce up the pillows. I have to look at Pinterest and see what I should do, but I think that's going to be the next thing. Bailey, you're kind of ruining my little thing over here, or maybe you're making it better. It's all about perspective. Um, I just did a few books. Basically, I took what was up here and I put it here. So we've got some books, a little candle, some beads that I got when we went to um, the Poconos, and I love this. This was like Christmas decor, but I've kept it all year round because I just love it. I love like the dark brown like stem with the white and it's just like cool i don't know i like it bailey likes it too we're not eating it we're not we're not eating it and then these i love these here little touch because my dad actually made these out of wood they're wood coasters and i kind of did them like a little messy on purpose because i thought it would look cute so that's what i did here i feel like it's a little more elevated now i like the little linen layer okay let's see what that chair looks like here really quick i'm curious this was hung. That used to be hung. Sorry, Bailey. I put my camera on your fort thing. Let's see if we move this. Maybe I can move it over here. <gasps> Wait. Okay. A little rearranging. This over here would be so cute. Oh, yup. That looks better here. Oh, maybe. No, maybe it does look good over there. And then this here. It's a thought. I do have a lot of art that I can take out as well that I will probably use now. It obviously needs one more blanket, but I think it's better over here. Here's the view without Bailey too. I think it looks so cute. Listen, it's my little mediocre decor, okay? I don't really plan on getting any more new like furniture or decor pieces until we move because I want to decorate a house like with new stuff and I don't want to have to bring a bunch of older things there that I'm going to outgrow. So I'm really trying to just repurpose what we have right now until we get like our house and then I'll decorate it like a whole new style but for now i'm just making do kind of like with what we have and like obviously i'll buy like little things here and there like i just got these beads but that's not a big deal you know but if it were up to me i would do like a white couch with like a wood table we would have like wood floors you know but i'm not renovating again so we're making do with what we got oh benji's gonna love that that's in a new spot also the pillows i'm good with getting new ones too because i feel like that's easy you can like always use extra pillows for things um and i feel like if i get them now like in two years i've had these for like three years since we've lived here and i'm like not even sick of them because they're so like simple and i'm pretty simple so if i even got new p pillows hello they would be very simple so i wouldn't be mad at getting new pillows i think that they would last years so that's that belly you look so cute right here you really do like a loaf of bread with no legs. I'm hungry, time for a sandwich. Brighten you up. I have been 
loving this from Trader Joe's. The onion and chive cream cheese. I'm gonna spread some on both pieces. I've got some leftover avocado, so I'm making sure I just use that before I open a new one. Beautiful. Red onion, cucumber, roasted peppers left over from yesterday. I'm just gonna take off the stem and plop them on. I've got the littlest bit of arugula left, so it's gonna go all on here. Why is finishing a food item so satisfying? Like before it goes bad? You're like, I did that. I used all of it. <laughs> Yum, I'm so excited. time kind of got away from me and we have to leave now i expected to have a little bit more time to get some things done on my computer but that's fine i just got ready real quick i air wrapped my hair threw on some makeup um i still have not rinsed my tan yet so that's why i'm looking extra dark but i decided to go with just some jeans from abercrombie this shirt is from zara and this little boohoo crop top nope this is from, I don't remember, I think Forever 21. I'm not really sure. And then my Air Forces and my little bag. And we're going to go celebrate the birthday. First, we have to stop at Target and grab a gift. And then we're going to be on our way. Let's get the bag. Guys, look what we decided on. Got a giraffe and a DJ panda. It's like me and Zane in a gift. She wants the bottom. She's standing. Look at her. Here we go. There you go. Get that. <gasps> what is that? What is Whoa. That? It's a DJ, like your brother. <laughs> now you can be Another a DJ, girl. girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Look, one more. Oh my god. Oh, that is so cute. I love giraffes. <laughs> I had to get her a giraffe. She likes the DJ toy. It's it's me and you. <laughs> You love it? Oh! <laughs> It is 10.47 p.m. We are all cozied up in our nice little bed. Oh, I'm so excited. We're gonna watch like a TV show or a movie or something. We're gonna figure it out, but we're gonna enjoy the rest of our Saturday night in bed. And I couldn't ask for anything more. Put my Apple Watch on the charger. I'm gonna take off my makeup. Before I end this vlog, I did just wanna say that from here on out, I will be uploading on Tuesdays and Saturdays. I did talk about this on Instagram, so if you saw this already, um, then you already know the whole rundown and spiel, but but I'll put it on the screen, but long story short, I just eat, sleep, breathed YouTube, but you guys know I uploaded every other day, which means I'm also editing every other day. So basically, I'm either filming or editing, plus all the other stuff that I have to do on top of it, like keeping up with Instagram and emails and my new project that I'm trying to launch and TikToks and time for myself and time for family and time for my boyfriend and time to clean. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it was just taking up way too much of my time to the point where I was cramming so many things in a day and I just left myself with no time for myself at the end of the day. Like, my time was when I got into bed and, and then until I fall asleep for like 30 minutes. That wasn't even English, but you know what I'm trying to say. I really want to enjoy my life and I would love to have more time just to like do things slower also because I'm just Zane always like makes fun of me that I pack too many things in a day and then I just stress myself out versus like taking my time and actually doing things properly versus like half-assing something and I feel like if I had the schedule where I like have to upload then I'm just forcing a video at that point and I'm like oh tomorrow's my upload day let me film something really quick and like try to get a long video out and like film things just cuz and then it's like not real you know and I'm stressing myself out for no reason a lot of youtubers that I watch upload twice if not even just once a week so I feel like that's very common nowadays um, I think what I was doing was just very excessive it's just not necessary and I was finding myself without time for me outside of work and I love what I do but 
um, there needs to be balance. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to find balance, especially this summer. Like I want to be able to like go sit at the beach and not have to worry about editing. Like every day I would come home and have to edit something. And that's just like not a good life for me to live. I'm so young. Like I should be enjoying my life more. And I'm just now realizing this at 24. I mean, I knew I had to do it. I just didn't like have the courage to do it because I was like, oh, my channel is going to fail. People aren't going to like me. I'm going backwards because I'm uploading less. I'm not working as hard. Like all those things have crossed my mind but I'm finally gonna start doing it and when I tell you guys that I put that up this morning and I already feel better like tonight we went to Saint's dad's and I was able to just enjoy the night and not have to worry about oh when I get home I have to do this this isn't that like I was actually able to enjoy my Saturday and it was like really nice so that's gonna be the gist of it Tuesdays and Saturdays of course if something happens or I need to upload on a different day then um you guys can keep up with my Instagram and I'll keep you posted there but as of right now, Tuesdays and Saturdays, I feel like that's a good balance, a few days in between, and my videos are long anyway, so you'll still get long videos, um, they take me hours and hours and hours to edit, so, um, I just feel like I'll be able to get a better quality, it'll be a lot of, like, days in my life instead of one consecutive day, so you guys will see, like, you know, more of what I do on a daily basis, and I'll combine days a lot, or, like, weekend vlogs and stuff like that, so, that's the gist on that, but anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and go now. Uh, tomorrow is Sunday. I'll pick the vlog up and start a new one tomorrow. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. That's okay. You can leave it off. <laughs> nice view. <laughs> Hello? Oh my god, I love it. Oh my god. Look at that little car. <laughs> oh, hello, Ad. Rude. I got kind of windy. <laughs> <laughs>